Hey guys, Microfools11 here, and today is another episode of the Crazy Craft 3.0 Let's Play. This is episode 26, and today I have loads of stuff to show you guys um, because I've been working a lot. Well, I worked over um, spring break. Alright, so yeah, I worked over spring break quite a bit on this world. Um, you know, I did a lot of stuff. As you guys can probably tell, I'm gonna probably go over this and then we're gonna continue working on the airport. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's begin. So, over here, as you guys can tell, I started up a sugarcane farm. I actually didn't show it on video, but I actually uh, expanded it quite a bit more. Um, in order to get the, um, like the uh, enchanting system going. And that is, um, what I'm going to be showing you guys fairly soon. So, yeah, let's see here. Alright, so yeah, guys, um, over here in the house, um, yeah. Let's see here. So the, I have the sugarcane farm. That's all good to go. It's fully built. I'm not. I'm not going to be expanding it any further. Not going to be expanding that way, that way, or that way. I'm just going to keep it put because it actually produces about like 64 or so per harvest. So it's a pretty good amount. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to head downstairs. And uh oh, did you guys see that? Oh crap! I made the enchanting system, and I actually enchanted this diamond pickaxe, which actually has unbreaking three. And um, I was actually just looking for a good one, and it turned out to not be a good one. Oh, I mean it's technically good, but for worth 30 exp experience points, that's not that great. Um, so it kind of stinks. Um, I was really hoping for getting efficiency or something like that, and that turned out to not be the case. So that kind of stinked. But, um, I'll have to do with it for now. And also, in my inventory, I have this pink tourmaline, tourmaline shovel, um, which I actually found in a, um, I found it in a, um, what is it called? Uh, one of those statues over there. It was actually quite a ways away, um, into a snow biome. So it got me some good stuff. And also, oh, one thing, yeah, it dropped some backpacks. It had some backpacks in the inventory, so I brought those back because uh, I definitely need them but they're already packed with stuff got another portal gun um, and I got this enchanted book with the soul stealer 3 knockback 2 shield efficiency 5 so I'm thinking it's going to be a sword enchantment I'm not entirely sure because um, <clears throat> I don't know what the shield breaker or that shield thing does so I had to figure that out um, and then also yeah as you guys can tell I have tons of iron now yes um, I actually one of the um, one of the statues out in the snow biome it had tons of freaking iron blocks. I mean, I mean tons, guys. It was a, a full stack of iron blocks, and that kind of correlates to about nine stacks of uh, iron. All right? I think it, I think that's the case, but that's how much I got from the um, the statues. So I'm definitely I need to go to more statues and destroy all the blocks that they have. All the really necessary blocks because they are pretty freaking good all that iron holy crap um it's gonna be very helpful for the um for the minecart system that i'm going to try to implement down into the cave system or the mine shaft over here it, um, i'm really just hoping for a mine shaft or for for this mine shaft to be able to connect to the cave system it's gonna probably start up right right in the middle and it's just gonna go all the way down until I find a cave system. I'm just going to continue to mine and hopefully find a cave system eventually, but it all depends on how that really turns out because the cave systems are kind of unpredictable in this world and they're really, really, really rare um, in this world for some reason. I just always find a bunch of ravines. But anyways, also guys, look at this. The airport is almost done. I've gone about, I've gone through about like two shears. It's been quite a business <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but it's been pretty um, strenuous work um, it, well yeah it's been pretty crazy <coughs> uh, trying to you know do all this stuff and place all the wool down I'm hoping that maybe today or in the next episode all the wool that is gonna have to be placed will be placed and um, yeah so that's all I've really done throughout this spring break and like just not really few days ago I guess um, so I mean I, I mean I've done stuff I don't actually quite a bit you know getting the enchantment system it took quite a while having to grow the sugarcane and all that kind of stuck not stuck st stunk um, it was just pretty bad having to wait for all the sugarcane to grow 
and then having to wait for all the sheep and their wool to grow is really bad as well. It's kind of it really stinks because it just takes so long for it to all go through. But we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're almost done. And then yeah, we need to build the hangars for the airport. I'm really hoping that these hangars are going to be looking pretty freaking cool. I'm hoping, guys, but I want to try to make them look as good as possible. So I'm going to try to figure out the best tools or the best blocks for this um, for these hangers. And yeah, they they I don't really know what I'm going to be using. Somebody suggested using iron blocks. I was like, okay, maybe it's a possibility for using that. But thinking about it, if I'm not even able to find these cave systems, I'm not going to be able to get much iron blocks. But I did find that, like I said, the statue with tons of iron blocks but it wasn't enough in order to make a building you know so <sighs> I have to figure out something that will be able to work for that will look good and yeah I mean I honestly don't know but yeah we'll um we'll figure this stuff out um so if you guys are noticing these cuts in the um, in the video, <coughs> it is because I am coughing frequently, um, and it just will not stop. I think I have like some spit or something tickling my throat. <laughs> really sucks because I would like to be able to talk and not have to cough constantly. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, so let's see here. I'm just gonna fill it down this wool, and look at this, we just have that last section to do. So, for that case. We're going to gather up some tools or some blocks that I'm going to be able to um, place down here. I don't know exactly what things I'm going to be placing. See, I kind of want to... No, I don't think I'll be placing stone because I don't want to... I don't want it to be the same exact thing as that. <coughs> so, um... Let's see here. I do have some blocks that could be of use. But let's see. I don't know. There's... I mean, I have dirt. That's not going to be good. What's this... Limestone could be interesting. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm not too sure what blocks I want to use. Because I want it to be... I want it to look like a hanger. Because hangers usually... It really depends. Um, <clears throat> like, is that going to... No, that's probably not going to look good. Um, Well, that kind of looks like cinder blocks. Are there any, like, cinder block things? I don't know. Let's see here. I'm going to. No, we don't have anything of that sort. So let's see. Blocks. Do we have any blocks? Things. There's an emerald block, obsidian blocks. Um. <clears throat> oh, we have concrete. And there's no freaking formula to make this. Concrete block? Like. This diamond block. Marble. Marble could actually be pretty interesting. Well, okay, there's actually, um, like, this little... Because I want it to look more... Like, the building needs to be a, have a metallic look to it, right? It can't... Like, what's this white block? I've never seen this before. Quarried stone, okay. There's actually quite a bit here. This is a really interesting spot. I've never... I want to kind of see how far this goes. Because I... It might not... It could be going down further. As well. Which I'm kind of hoping for. I just don't know how much there's going to be. Holy frick. There's actually... I think there's a ton. <coughs> so this quarried stone. It is an interesting block. <clears throat> it is definitely a very interesting block. It could be... It's fairly similar to the regular stone over there, but it's a little bit more white. So I'm very... Very uh, curious to see how this looks over here. I'm going to test it out, see what it looks like. But... See, I want the air... The hangers to... Look at all these freaking birds! See, this is the thing with this open land over here. There's tons of birds flying around. That's a hazard for these planes. They're going to be placed down. See, it kind of just looks like regular stone, so I don't think I'll be using that. Gosh dang it, this is going to be a tough decision. Um, but, you know, like I was saying, I don't really think I'll be 
maybe using iron, which the iron blocks, right? Um, see, there's concrete. Like, I, I mean, it doesn't freaking show the formula how to make it. That's what pisses me off. I hate when that happens. There's block of aluminum that doesn't even show us how to make that. Uh, let's see. I guess we shall just browse through these things. There's temple blocks. I don't even know. If, see, it just kind of angers me that there's some blocks that are in this game and they don't even show you how to craft them. Like you have to either go online and look, but <clears throat> that shouldn't be the case. Should not be the case. <laughs> Anti-block. What the heck? White chocolate block. What? Block of steel. Okay, so I can make block of steel, but that looks... Block of concrete. I mean, block of lead. Gosh dang it. There are so many things that I can... <sighs> I need to figure stuff out. See, I don't really want, like... I want it to be kind of like a plain block, right? I don't want it to be having, like, squares and stuff in it. Uh, because I just don't think it'll suit it. <clears throat> Equipment cube? What the heck is this? Quarried block. Holy crap, these birds are insane. Okay, so I can make this quarried block, which is kind of like a plain block, right? And that is by using the um, this quarried stone over there. So I think... Let's let's see what these look like. I'm probably just gonna place it right into the uh, furnace right up here so we can do it quickly. Let's get that going. So there was also this um, uh, here it is, here it is, equipment cube. I can actually just use this wool and then the iron, and I get 16, which is a pretty large amount. It's main building block for custom equipment. It, it is paintable, so I could paint some designs on it, like a uh, flying logo. Like, there are some, like, airlines that have flying logos on there, and I could paint something on there. That could be pretty cool. And I do get a pretty good amount from them. 16, 16 blocks, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. With all these sheep over here, I think I'm going to do that, actually. But, before we do that, well, actually... <clears throat> I think I'll use this quarried block maybe for like an outline and like alright so yeah like I was saying I was thinking that I'm gonna use this quarried block for like an outline sort of like this thing right here where I have the wood and then the regular planks kind of yeah like kind of like that I would like to have something similar to that so I'm thinking that this quarried block will be the blocks that will fit the outline <coughs> of the uh, the hanger right so <clears throat> let's see here just head over and let's see here so basically I yeah I like that so it'll be like however many blocks high we will have to figure that out uh, obviously and it'll, it'll just be basically the outline of the hangar so it'll be going up, up however many blocks, and it's going to be going across. Oh yeah, I forgot we don't have a side there. Um, it's going to be going up, across, and um, yeah, I think that's just how it's going to be. So we'll figure all this stuff out probably in the next episode, guys. I'm going to get like the whole setup going, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll also get the uh, runway done and get that completed. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, and I will see you guys all in the next one. So, yes, goodbye. Mm -hmm.